These new military recruits have arrived for their first target practice. Their country is at war and they're forbidden from leaving, so instead, they're learning to shoot. But even for those who have the choice to flee, many feel a duty to stay. We can do this and we do this even we want to do this because it's our country and we should protect it in the way we could. Even though they don't have to, women all around this city are finding ways to help the front line. Less than two weeks ago, Olga Kazitska was a fashion designer making clothes in this Lviv studio. After the invasion, she cancelled all orders and is now making military uniforms for free. Only uh, eight people are working there, all women. <laughs> and, uh, but now I am very glad that we have opportunity to help in somehow. Just to sit at home and doing nothing, it, I just become crazy, you know. She's separated from her whole family. Her children sent away to safety, her husband fighting in the capital. He's doing what he should do. It's, I understand if he stay here, he will regret about this, that he didn't do enough to protect his country. Did you consider leaving Ukraine at all, or do you want to stay here until the end? Of course, I worried about my children. Yeah, if my husband goes there and both parents, uh, it's like difficult, yeah, decision. But we'll, uh, if I will see, uh, no, I, I'll try to do all the best here, but nobody knows how it will be. You should uh, like prepare children to the worst scenario. These women are coming to terms with the difficult future ahead of them. I was brought up from childhood, yes, it is. Our land, since it's our country. A growing number of women are choosing to fight for their country on the front line. Tatiana Shevenko is one of them, leaving behind her job as a doctor to become a combat medic. Today, she's patrolling the streets of Lviv. I'm ready if the enemy comes. I will shoot and fight for my country. She feels this is a duty to both her country and children to ensure Ukraine remains free and democratic for generations to come. I wanted to join 2014 as Russia invaded eastern parts of Ukraine and also Crimea. But during this time, I had a five-year-old son and also a 20-year-old daughter, so I couldn't go then. But now I am ready to fight for them. Women made up around 15% of the country's military before this war, but that's expected to grow. I am proud that I am Ukrainian, and before this invasion, I would say I love my kids, my husband, and after that, Ukraine, in that order. Now I say I love Ukraine, my kids, and my husband, in that order. Inside this regional military headquarters, locals are preparing provisions. <laughs> Yuliana Sherko has spent hours here. She's fighting to find supplies and shelter for those fleeing violence. I was just thinking, what can I do? What my family can do? What my children can do? How should we act today? And where should I go to, to help my country to defend the land and the people? What, what can I ask? The invasion happened on her 40th birthday. She wonders what the next year will bring and what this war means for her three teenage children. I would like them not to know what the war is, but in this situation, they all know that we have to organize myself and to think of defense and of the victory. If they have this, I think the, the freedom will be more valuable afterwards for them.